I'm Kevin with Vintage King Audio. Gonna show you the new Universal Audio Ruby today. We're gonna do a deep feature set dive to show you some different sounds and how everything works on this unit. I'm super excited to show it to you because honestly, it sounds awesome. Let's dive right in. I'll play some chords, fiddle some knobs, and we'll see what's up. So right off the bat, we are on the top boost channel of this and it's reacting just like a real AC30 would. Dial up that volume control, it's gonna give you a lot of gain, a lot of grit. Right now I'm gonna keep it clean, run through some different EQ and some speaker cab options. And that's the fun part about this is you're not stuck with one cab. You have a bunch to choose from. Right now you've been hearing the silver, uh, which is a silver bulldog. Let's go through some of these other ones. So we'll go. From Here's the silver right there. Let's jump over to the blue. Over to the green. The thing to know about this pedal is you can register it with Universal Audio on your phone or your computer and you're gonna gain three additional cabinets. You're gonna grab a 112 AC15 cab with a blue Bulldog speaker, a 212 matchless cab with a Celestion G12H, and a 212 boutique cab with Celestion Gold speakers. So I'll show you those on the green menu right now. That's the AC15 cab. This is the matchless cab. And this is the boutique cab with Celestion Golds. The other cool thing is you can disable the cab on this and that's really great because you can use this as just an AC30 preamp into some other things on your pedal board into a real amp or when you turn the cab off, you can go direct into your DAW, use a third party IR system if you have some IRs that you really like and that'll sound just like this. You can defeat it, turn the light off and this is just the preamp of the pedal. <laughs> Back to a cab, one of my favorites is the blue on here. And I'm gonna show you what the EQ controls on this amp will do. Remember an AC30 is wired in reverse. So your cut control, your bass and treble are gonna react just like the vintage amp would. And I'll show you how those sound. The other really cool thing about this is you get three built-in boosts depending on which style of the AC30 that you're on. So when you're on the Brilliant channel, when you bring up this boost control, it's gonna be an EP3 style preamp. I'll show you what that sounds like right now. click over to the normal side of the amp, it's going to be a Range Master treble boost. I'll 
I'll show you some of the secondary features on this. So right now we're been on the amp controls, which would be the bottom letter in here, the bass, treble, and boost. When I flip up to this alternate button, and also I want to flip down to the, the vibrato style amp, it's going to give me controls of the speed and int intensity of the tremolo, and it's also going to be, give me control of the room. I'll start with the tremolo, I'll show you what that sounds like. Go back to the top boost and I'll show you what the room setting sounds like. For me, the reason that I love having a room setting on a pedal like this is just like you would mic up a cab in a back room when you're on in-ears or a situation like that, it's going to feel a little, little stuffy, not super lifelike, and it's going to sound like that microphone is right on the speaker cone, like like that. And one of the coolest things to do is add a little room. It's going to, especially on in-ears, going to widen everything up, make it feel like it's right there with you. I'll show you some dramatic settings and then kind of how I'd use this in a real gigging situation. Some of the other really cool feature sets of this pedal is it comes with a full Bluetooth app. Just like your other UA pedals that you can connect, have presets stored, these you're going to get a huge batch of artist presets as well, made by some huge players in the industry, or you can save all of your favorite presets uh, on this green foot switch right here. I'm going to come back down here to amp mode, EQ it just a touch, and I'll show you how I would use this in one of my favorite settings because one of the coolest things is not only do you get one AC30 emulation, there's two in here that are running together. So when you run stereo effects into this unit, like I'm about to do the stereo reverb and delay, it's going to be a true stereo signal left and right with basically two AC30s right there for you. So your stereo spread is super wide and super pure. I'll dial in some sounds and show you that as well. The other thing too is you can use this as a real amp. You can hit it with outboard effects, whether it's compression, gain, reverb, tremolo, delay, whatever it is, and it's gonna react like the real amp sitting behind you. So I'm gonna add some gain and I'll play you out. I'm Kevin with Vintage King Audio. Thank you for watching.